Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a look at the plug-in Flechtwerk. And I made two videos about the Flechtwerk, but that was the older version, this one here. And today we have a look at this one. And it's special because we have a special feature here. And what this feature is, I show you now. As you can see, the engines are switching. And that's because of the LFO here. And yeah, I'm happy about this because in the older versions, it wasn't possible to do it. And um, actually the original plates module from the Eurorack format uh, also have this feature to um, yeah, assign it to an LFO or anything you want actually. So you can also put a step, um, yeah, a step modulation into the flashback. And um, so you are curious about uh, how it sounds and I will show it to you in context. So you already heard a little bit of my techno example. And now I show you the, yeah, how I made it. Okay, in this example, this feature isn't used, but uh, I have another modulation here. And this is uh, with the MVD snake and it modulates the moth. And without the modulation, it would uh, sound like this. So it's more rhythmical and yeah, then I have a lot of effects. What's also important is the resonator here. It makes it more natural sounding like an instrument. Yeah, and then I use the OTT in an unusual way, so it's not compressing here, it's like the other way around. Yeah, and um, that's an interesting voice here. Yeah, the other rhythm is also the flashback. And here I used the LFO trick I talked about. And um, yeah, so the engines are switching, but in a rhythmical way. So yeah, every two beats, it completes a circle here. And when I stop it, it only is on one engine. And now with the LFO again. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. And yeah, the um, part of the heads are also flecked back. So the head engine, obviously. And this is also the, the snare engine, but I reduced the attack. So, yeah, it would sound like this. And now it's a little bit smoother, so yeah. 
and that in combination. Very nice. Ah, the low end, of course. Uh, yeah, I used um, the sample kick. So that's not so good to reproduce with the flecked back. But the bass, you can make it a good bass. And then I used an octave higher with another engine. Yeah, that's how it works actually. I hope you got some inspiration and modulated like shit. And yeah. I see you in the next video. Bye.